project witnesses have had first-hand encounters of knowledge inside the projects or with the UAPs directly. Very big distinction, huge distinction. So this is now what we're going to be doing is the tip of a very large iceberg. Uh, and all we can do is give you like the high light parts of it. But just to give you an idea, those of you who haven't seen uh, or read the book Disclosure or Unacknowledged, in those books we have the, the testimony transcripts and we also have on our YouTube channel the video interviews with about 70 of these top secret men, including, and this is just a short list, a Jonathan Weigand, young man who is in, on the Bolivian Peruvian border at a astronomy post that was doubling as a weapons tracking, where they would track extraterrestrial vehicles and try to hit them and down them. He was there for the crash retrieval of an ET craft uh, back many, many years ago. Uh, his testimony is there, and he is someone who should, in fact, be subpoenaed for his full testimony. He's a direct contact to the vehicle. Uh, and he was, in 19, 2001, relatively young man. We also have uh, people like, I'm gonna give you just a few of these just to give you an idea. Merle Shane McDowell, also a fairly young man, was it, uh, he was with the St. Atlantic Command, Commander-in-Chief Atlantic Command, Norfolk. I've been in that facility where it's a hardened, you know, very hardened facility on the ground. Uh, he was there in 1980, early 80s, when uh, a UAP came off the coast of Newfoundland and the Northeastern United States was tracked on five radar stations. Jets were scrambled up and down the East Coast and they chased uh, these, uh, this object and attempted to fire upon it to down it. Now he was in the control center, saw the photo, the, the gun camera footage of this object, testified to it, gave us all the detailed information 22 years ago. Interestingly, Admiral Harry Train had been denied access to any of this knowledge before this event, so he was in a full panic. He was flying without IFR. He was not flying, he was flying through a fog. And he, they went to a full lockdown code zebra, which means everyone's out of that command center except authorized personnel with zebra stripes on their back lapel. And within 60 seconds, all personnel not with that zebra stripe are shot by the Marines who were there with their M16s. So this event was a huge event. 